Greetings, I am Pillar Nexus, the Ancient Gladiator, today with opening up booster packs of Legend of the Five Rings, Celestial Edition. I have 12 of them, 12 cards. Let's see if we can get some useful stuff to add into the Harbinger decks, and maybe start thinking about getting some other decks from this era of the game. So I just want to open these up. Let's see what you get. We're going to end up with more stuff for the stuff you're not playing. <laughs> uh, Sako Katashi. Uh, Shigen Jeff. Inquisitor. Let me listen. Uh, let's lower personal honor. And about you may try and strain it and someone else. Okay. Reinforce the gates. Not my clan, but that's pretty cool. Ooh. Tamago. The false numero. Counts as the egg of Panku for deck construction. There's uh, personal honor by one to issue an unrefusable challenge. Ah. Damn. And Ikoma Tobikuma. It's another lion clan. Focus on. Oh. If I should double it, play the forest. More terrain to mess with is always fun. Or crab clan. Little clan. I'll just use more spells to play with too. Farmlands. Pay two gold, create a follower token. <laughs> One force. No samurai can stand without the support of those who work the fields. Bushido can give life to a man for only so long before hunger claims his body. Yeah. Spearmen. And shoot a hero. So you know, keep thinking about doing, looking for like Shadowlands, uh, Spider Clan stuff. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a minute to readjust this camera. Just a little bit. That's right, there goes Dynasty. Alright. Alright, next one. So, usually find something to chat about while opening stuff. So, let's see what it, what's on my mind lately. <laughs> Yeah, I um, showed the uh, 
game store owner guy yesterday, uh, the Dragonborn stuff, Dragonborn, is like, he said, this year road, that's probably why I didn't see it. Uh, anyway, Moto Taban, Falling Leaf Strike, and Monk, woohoo, from Battlefield, give an enemy, um, minus three force. Nice. Mantis Clan. Nice. Naval. I think a lot of their stuff is naval. Uh, unicorn. Otaku. Come. Okay. Let's see. Okay. It's a special symbol. This is. Oh, this because this was the 15th anniversary of the game? I think. Well, what year did this come out? I didn't say. 2010. Yeah. 15 years. That's pretty cool. I think that's probably why the uh, triangle is being used for the uh, um, symbol. Only attach calorie plus one bonus when attacking. I'm gonna put the 15th anniversary stuff like over here for now. Anyway. Uh, Hida, Hikita, and Samurai Commander. Battle target follower reduce the force of a target enemy card to zero. Nice. Okay. And Toturus Tactics. Reaction after the resolution of a battle action on a strategy you played. Target your tactician. The card is placed on your face fate deck instead of the discard pile. So So you can use a strategy twice, possibly. As long as you don't lose well, it. Or mantis. Greater sacrifice. Moto Ichizo. From every side. Increase for battlefields province strength by twice the number of units on the defending side. Or reduce the current uh, battlefields province strength by the number of units on the attacking side. Interesting. Hida Kaoru. And blow darts. Interesting. Ninja weapon. We'll only attach to a ninja. Uh, destroy this card. Uh, it's limited action. Minus one poison token to one or two target personalities. That's, that's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the fate and the dynasty stuff separated, but I'm thinking I might have to put the uh, uh, holdings up here in case I get the one clan that I'm missing out of all this. I.e. the one that would actually have the ninjas. Okay. And I still haven't figured out why the camera tilt is all weird. That's one of the things I want to look into in the future is a new webcam and a new microphone. Open it away from the mic. Dance of the Kami. Battle this card, name the element keyword, straighten all cards in this army with keyword. Give all personalities in the army with keyword plus one force. Nice. Okay. Yukari no Ono. One human snow maiden. 
The winter card is in play on the discard pile, plus two, plus one. Uh, negate the movement to or from her battlefield by their player's units when players on actions. Unless the player owns a winter or snow maiden card in play or the discard pile. So, winter tactics. Uh, steadfast Bushy. The People's Champion. Another anniversary card. Another reaction play immediately before any player is about to win on our victory. Any one player may step forward one unbound personality to challenge that player. That player may accept the challenge with any personality. Unless the challenge is accepted and won, that player's honor is reduced to 39. Who? And rares we've got um, discreet retreat. Move your card to your home. Give someone else plus four minus four force. And a to yeah. Um, unicorn tactical retreat. Any enemy that's in battlefield or is assigned there, move them there. Okay. So I the sun low. So, yay, more Phoenix stuff. Act of Courage. Choose personalized negative the movement. Target personality and other followers plus one. Let's see. Um, Matsu, Yusa. Lion. It's a dog. Uh, Dai Daji Soshi Crane. Yeah, we were talking about like dead card games the other day too. Or like older card games like um, the Lord of the Rings card game. And some people still have those and are still open to playing. So, so it's. Well, that's fun. <clears throat> We'd like to see who still plays. Who still has cards for this game? Uh, Utaku. Um, Hui. Corn. So a sword cut for Kensei personalities. And with one of their weapons. To destroy an enemy follower item or personality. Without attachments and with force less than or equal to your chi. Mantis Clan, Samurai, not Naval, but Scout. Uh, battle range 3 attack. Target Prominence. Uh, well, I'll fill your followers who's going to sign there. Half Battle's card. <clears throat> range 3 attack. Alright. Anniversary card. Akodo Tortui. 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 It's five honor enters play dishonored. Uh, will not join Crab or Phoenix House. <clears throat> if restored to honorable status, controlling player gains five honor. And Totori gets plus two, plus three, force G permanently. What must bow to fo offer aid to a fallen man? Interesting. So, we have Ferrer's Kitsuki, uh, Suboko, uh, Duelist, and Justicar. For focus effects resolve in a duel against her. Uh, how all focus effects in a duel are negated. That's pretty cool. And Silent Rot. Target your inbound ninja, target enemy card. Uh, Battle has no attachments, destroyed if it has any poison tokens. Who? This with the blue darts. Alright. Here we go, stuff. We've got black hearts, red blades. More ninja stuff, and yet not a single ninja card yet. Remoto, you know. 
There's a Kensai. Extended Maneuvers. Hida. Masatari. Castle of Water. That is... That is just pretty freaking cool. Let's try to nail the focus on this. Let's like shade it. Yeah. And if the ceiling is not the current battlefield, and even if you control no units, they're a battleless card. Give the current battlefield's province plus three strength. Nice. And Utoka, Utaku Kona, Kohana. I need to work on my Japanese for, uh, for the day I can ever go to Japan. Which will still be a long ways away. I need a minute. Two. Get some drink. <clears throat> My work stopped getting in those big bottles of pineapple juice. So, I had to get them from a normal store. From another store. And the price is way higher. Air magic, flight of devs. Bound to destroy this card until game ends. Honor gains from actions on a target holding are increased by one. Nice. Uh, Desolate planes. Holding is producing gold paper, a non human Shadowlands personality in your play. For this province, Ballast card, the holding produces two additional gold. Very wordy cards sometimes. War dogs. Um, shame. Play on a dishonored personality. The personality sh shame strains the family's honor. That player loses seven honor. <laughs> Damn. All right. And confronted with certain death, some men find that they are made of weaker fiber than they believed. That's another 15th anniversary. Alright. Inexplicable challenge for one of the rares. Uh, your courtier at any location. Uh, bow an enemy card without attachments. Choose a player um, who enters, who either gains or loses to honor. Here, Bushi, if you must take a life, then take mine. Oh, that's your bloodlust. Okay. And then Shiva Ray. More Phoenix. Which I need. Samurai. And Yojimbo. Plus one force for each spell in his army. Battle, range, three attack. Interesting. Or me. Huh. Uh, double check the. Where you at? Yeah, I might just have to pick some actual celestial decks for. Maybe once I'll actually have the rules in them. Goblin Chuckers, Shadowlands. Lose to honor and like come into play, range to attack. Isawa, so, uh, Nakajima, Outer Walls, uh, Kota, Saga, Shite. Impeccable Nobility, and Kakita Hideo. Yeah, I have the PDF rule book, um, but it'd just be nice to have something I can physically go through. It's almost tempting to go print out the PDF at the library, but it's also a big one, I think.
Okay. We're already starting out with the Cane Blade. Battle destroy target armor. Nice. Uh, best shot I Shadowlands. Not aligned to the house spider. Uh, ramifications, move of personality. Um, with personal owners, zero home. If they moved, their control loses to honor. Okay. Hmm. Then the anniversary card is Entrapping Terrain. Battle Terrain, this attack. Uh, the attack on this province is called off. All units return home bowed. Where there are mountains and forests, ravines and defiles, wherever the road is difficult. Alright. So we got Unclean Sacrifice, Maho Kyo. After the resolution of another player's battle action that bowed, moved, or destroyed one or more of your undead cards, bow your targets to your ninja, create your own. Uh, two force, two chi, no personal honor. Shadowlands, undead personalities. Um, I'll create two of them. Current battlefield and lose four honor. Damn. Ooh. And we have Satan Sanzo. Ballast card produce two gold or three if paying for a hero. Limited. Target a personality you own and control. Give them cavalry and plus three force. Destroy him after your next dynasty phase begins. It is a temple dedicated to a man who learned what real courage was. We'd have to... Be up here. Yeah, that's something I want to check out um, if, if I never make it to Japan is temples. It's out of curiosity. Store in order. Let's do Satsune. Commander in Paragon. Nice. Last gift. We're going to give someone a uh, human personality plus one personal honor. Interesting. Joji sent a drawing the strike. A monk. Action. Border village. Ballast card produced three. If you did not go first this game and are not paying for a holding. Bow this card. Produce four hole. Okay. Yeah, I think going to Japan is going to require an actual plan and not just figure it out when I get there <laughs> but uh, I just kind of want to explore my own pace private shrine temple singular ballast card give all your honorable personalities at the current battlefield uh, plus one force or two if the current battlefield is at this card's province it's a region yeah I thought farmlands was a farmlands is also a region by the way keen blade another one Another Bosch and I actually read it. Uh, enters play, lose four honor. End of the phase begins if this card was destroyed this turn by a battle resolution. Or if you're losing a duel, you may bring it into play for a discard pile, ignoring costs. So, battles or duels can keep coming back. Uh, 
let's see. Fifteenth anniversary. Miramajo Hitomi. Dragon Clan Samurai. Followers in this unit are immune to fear. Interesting. Alright. Um uh, Rares Doji Ibukita. Um uh, Crane Samurai Artisan. Discard the top card of your fate deck. Choose another player. They can choose to lose to honor if they don't gain honor equal to the focus value. Ooh. Um, seeking path, focus. You may increase the focus value of one of your focused cards that is a ring by one. Interesting. Alright. Master Soleil. Wavering assaults. Sawa Kyoko. Settling the homeless. Even if you control no units at the current battlefield. Uh, move a target personality without followers home. Many Heyman have been driven from their farms and villages. Daimyo are to take care to resettle them quickly. So they may return to their life of service. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Chagashi Gato. Monk Duelist Tattooed. Show the top card of your fate deck if it's a tattoo or a ring put it in your hand. Okay, and heroic fate. If there's any of these that I, that I read the title for and you'd like me to actually cover in detail, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna leave it half open for a sec. Drink. That's another thing that came up is if you're playing a card game with somebody you play at a table such that someone can look across and see your cards without needing to ask to see them. Because just playing at a gigantic table and you can't see the other person's cards that's not that's not good sportsmanship. Okay. Fueling the flames, fire, magic, a spell. Uh, about for range two or bound destroy the Shugenja for range six. For when you really need to kick some ass. Force. Seeing those in the in the decks. Ceremonial armor. Finally have armor. Attaches to a personality with a gold cost of nine or greater, paying for less gold. Ranged attacks targeting cards in this unit have minus two strength. It looks lovely for official functions, and apparently uh, it deflects arrows quite well. Yes. All right. 15th anniversary card is Stormheart. Uh, political limited. One of your non, one of your courtier personalities challenges a non courtier personality to a duel of personal honor. Destroy the loser, dishonor the winner. Uh, if the loser is not Shadowlands, dishonor the challenged personality. If the challenge is refused, dishonored personalities may not refuse. Huh. Alright, actual rares. We've got Paths of Honor and Glory. Bushido Virtue, Dark Virtue. Uh, open action, straight into Target Samurai, Battle. Battle Target Samurai without attachments. Hmm. Two paths exist, one light and one dark. The light path has ever been the greater, but the dark path gains new adherence each day. Yeah. And the other rare is Daigotsu Gyokin. Um, enters play, you lose six honor. Uh, even if Gyokin is bowed in battle, 
He, if he is assigned to the current battlefield or if any enemy units are there, he is relentless. Move him there, strain his unit if he moved. Damn. Alright. Alright, then Gunso. So, uh, key hero. Relief. Fire one more unit at the current battlefield and move all those targets home. Uh, turn equal number of your, your units at home. Move them to the current battlefield. Uh, Ikoma. Taraji. Let's see. Here we go. Up here. Okay. Shameful injury. And MG. Sakihiko. I'm going to read these upside down. <laughs> Still no Scorpion Clan yet. So we still have yet to see the ninjas. Yeah, I had this one uh, two-player game inspired by the, the L5R verse. Of lion versus scorpion. Um, scorpion has controls this ninja, and they're trying to achieve certain objectives. But the uh, lion has their their guards. It's a hidden movement game, and it's kind of interesting. I wish it almost wish I'd held on to it and given it at least one try. All right, Crane, Artisan, Orator, Poet, poet uh, Kakita, Okira. Uh, discard a card before the next uh, time this this turn a target player gains or loses honor. Reduce the loss or gain by the focus value of the discarded card. Hmm. Final Sacrifice. Um, your Yojimbo does their job. <laughs> Uh, corrupt officials bow for two gold or open action bow this card and destroy it if the uh, target holding is unique. A target, target holding's abilities may not be used until the end of the turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, 15th anniversary card of Black Market. This three honor. All traders in play produce two less gold. All horse in play produce one less gold. Bound lose one honor to produce two gold. If black market is controlled by a current player, black market produces three instead. There are ways to counter the Mantis power. All right. Dagotsu Yuni Yumi uh, Entrance play we lose five honor. Turn any follower bow each follower and personality with a with four lower force in the unit. Destroy the targeted follower. Ooh. No one knows the secrets, not even me. Dagotsu. And Yari Jutsu. Uh, bow target weapon attached to a, your personality. Destroy an enemy personality with no weapons. No armor and force lower than the focus value. Plus force bonus of your weapon. Okay. So. What is it? So, Keen Blade, for example. So, focus two and force bonus two is four. So, an enemy personality with force lower than four and no weapons and armor. 
Okay. Yeah, there's a lot to parse through with some of these. Now, uh, Hiruma. Gohachiro. It's another crab. Hull Plane. Parmalance is a region. Another Spearman. Shuda Hirai. And I'm familiar ground. The H card is five or higher force now the battlefield. Uh cards affect destroy the strain strain all cards about. Alright. Yeah, once you like start getting into like past three sentences and more than like thirty words. Things are gonna get rough. Let's try to get people to play. Okay, another ramifications. Uh, Sako Katashi. That's the one I got earlier, right? Yeah, another one. Reinforce the gates. Player announces a battle action before. The defender's first opportunity to act or pass, the specs don't happen. Even if you control no units of the current battlefield, target an opposed unit, an unopposed unit there, lead it to a battlefield with one or more units on the side opposing its controllers. Fifty anniversary card is the Jade Hand. Unique. May not be stolen or destroyed. The this personality gains a three force two chi bonus. When opposed by any Shadowlands card in a battle or duel. Ooh. That's pretty cool. It signified the return of a hero from long ago. But when would he claim his prize? Interesting. Alright. Now for the rares. Armor of the Heavens. Imperial Armor. Political Reaction. After another player targets this personality with an action, either gain two honor or have the other player lose two honor. Crafted for the Emperor by the Fortune of Steel himself. Surely no more perfect suit of armor has ever existed in this into the mortal realm. Shikibu no Oni. Ever. Overlord. Experience. Uh, enters play, lose 8 honor. Uh, before an action destroys Shikibu. Negate the destruction. If the destruction fails, choose one of your personalities at their location. They were consumed. Remove the chosen personality from the game. <coughs> Ooh. This is brutal. Okay. And then last gift. No G sent a... I have to look into Shadowlands and Spider and all that. Trying to strike. Border Village. Armor of Command. It's Commander and one personal honor. And Yuchi is down. Yeah, they have a lot of lose honor stuff, so I'm trying to figure out how they how they can bounce back to gaining honor to be able to lose it. In order to not lose the honor dishonor victory. Um, Poku. 
Goblin Scout with Shadowlands. Sniper tattoo. Hey, there we go. Your opposed unbound tattooed personality. This tattoo comes alive. How I target enemy card without attachments. And with a core or a force, give the tattooed personality plus two. And we finally have our first freaking Scorpion Clan card out of all this. Bayushi, Miami, Cortair, and Samurai. Range attacks, target enter, uh, have minus three strength. Battle, give a target enemy personality minus three force. Dishonor him if his force is now zero. Alright, 15th anniversary card. It's Yogo, uh, Jinza, yeah. And an undead Shugenja, who challenges. Um, lose four honor at battle, fear four. I need to remember what fear does. It does something nasty. Cool. The controller of a target dishonorable personality loses three honor. Oof. Let's pull this around here. And trade district, pay three gold, turn a dynasty card in a province face up. Because you might have a ton of gold and you might want the opportunity to make use of it. Okay, battle of drowned honor. Family keep. Now this card produce two or three if paying for a card at the base cost nine or more. Open if it is not your turn. You have only one province, and you have one or zero cards in hand. Draw a card. Desperate times. That one. Untested scouts. We're attached to a samurai or scout. Um, Nagataka. All these lose on our cards is kind of like tough to deal with wrath and I gosh uh, wait uh all right last one but yeah I'd like to find anyone who still plays this game and play because I do like this game I know they did a freaking the living card game one with Fantasy Flight, but I'm just I get what they're trying to do with the living card game uh, concept, but I feel like having to deal with the randomness of boosters and stuff is a little more interesting. Another forest of Shinoman. Uh, Another ceremonial armor. Unicorn War Dogs will not attach cards. Uh, if you control a human unicorn clan personality in this army, give Unicorn War Dogs plus two follower, uh, force. <clears throat> you may target, target and bow an enemy follower or personality without followers. Cry Havoc. <laughs> Alright, 15th anniversary card is Daidoji Uji. Crane Clan Samurai. There is no time to hesitate. If we do, the darkness will envelop the light of the Emerald Throne. Uh, illustration Mark Pool. I, I swear they've also, it's also done illustrations from Magic the Gathering too. Style just feels so familiar. Anyway, rares. Expendable resources. Bow for two gold or destroy your target personality to draw a card. Yeah. Of course I know it's sending them off to their deaths. I need an advantage and it is worth any price. Their rare is... Gift Armor. Negate all current... And new chi penalties on this personality. 
They gave the destruction of this card except for its personality being destroyed. So only the person wearing it dying can remove it. There's no greater gift a lord can give his vassal than that which can extend his service. Okay. Familiar ground. Yoritomo Saburo. Naval Scout for Mantis. Because that's what we like. Souls of Virtue. Uh, Togashi Tar Taro. Tattooed Monk. Failure of Courage. And Hida Ogana. So, for the two decks that I actually have, that's what I can use personality wise um, without dipping into the Shadowlands stuff. Plus, all the um, holdings, regions. Yeah, there are no events for uh, Dynasty stuff. This is all I get to consider. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I have all these to consider for for, those, for the Fate side. <clears throat> This is, you know, the advantage to having, like, a group of players for this game is trading, obviously. It's like, hey, I don't play this clan, but I know you do. You know, let's say, I know you play Unicorn, let's maybe trade some of this stuff. And maybe you've got something for my Phoenix deck. Yep, that's... That is opening boosters for L5R. Um, if I choose to invest anything more into this game, I might just do it off, off video. This is fun to just, you know, open up more boosters again. It's always fun to explore these things and see, you know, what gets pulled. Maybe some people out there play this game. And it's like, oh, hey, it's that card. I've done some crazy shit with that card. You know, if you have any interesting stories like that, it'd be fun to hear. Alright, thanks very much for watching. This has been Pillar Nexus, and I'll see you next time.